Let's start the class. Sit in any comfortable posture. Normalize your breathing. Relax your facial muscles. Adopt chin mudra. Back erect, neck relax. Let's chant three omkaras. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Again. Last time. Join your palms for prayer. Sahana Babatu Sahana. Punaktu Sahaviriam Karavahai Tejasvina Vati Tamastuma Vit Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Back at it. Inhale. Exhale. Bend down. Drop your shoulders. Drop your elbows. Inhale. Come up. Today, let's practice Ardha Hanumanasana breathing. For that, left knee front, right leg back. Turn your upper body. Put your ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Knee and fingers in one line. Inhale. Straighten your elbows. Look up. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch up. Look up. Begin fan sankara. Exhale. Inhale, look up, exhale, must last time, inhale, look up, exhale, push your chin forward, draw elbows near to your body, finally, drop your head, Inhale, come up. Now, let's do it. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Touch up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Ardha Hanumanasana breathing. Inhale. Straighten your elbows. Look up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last in, inhale, exhale, slowly come up, 
you know separate your knees relax you now come to standing posture now join your elbows inhale stretch exhale inhale join your elbows exhale inhale exhale Inhale. Join your elbows. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch your hands. Last time. Breathe in. Join your elbows. Breathe out. You know, as usual, forward, backward bending. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. The loosening practices are very good to get your body ready to do the further practices. Do not skip them. Do not bend at your knee. Do not bend at your elbow. Now, side bending. Foot should be parallel. Separate your legs. Side bending. Minimum twenty counts. Each practice, lateral bending, you know, bending, twisting, inhale, come up, exhale, bend, twist, come up, bend. Bend, twist, try to do properly. Twist your waist, look up the ceiling, inhale, come up. You know, alternate to the thing. First to start slowly, then pick up the speed, look up each time. Now slowly come up. Now swing your hands. Foot should be parallel, one foot apart, minimum. Hand should be shoulder level. Concentrate on your waist. Look back each time. Exhale. Exhale. 
you know, opposite twist. Stop the practice. Separate your legs. Relax for a while. You have completed loosening practices. That is forward, backward bending, side bending, bending and twisting, alternate toe touching, full twist, and then opposite twist. Now let's move on to dynamic practices. Today let's practice jumping. Those who can't do, can't cope with that body practice, you can just do slow jogging, others do jumping. Stop the practice. No, front and back. Stop now. Exhale from your mouth. See, this is cleansing throwing out the excessive heat produced in your body, mukha dhauti. Sit and relax. Sitting relaxing practice is called Shitila Dandasana. So yoga is connecting body and mind and breath through stimulation, activation, and relaxation. You have to just connect it to whatever you can. Do not force your body or limbs. The relaxing in between is very important to regain the energy to do the next practice. Your breathing should come normal. See what we are practicing is Ashtanga Yoga. There are Yama, Don'ts, Niyama, it has to be followed. Asana, what we are doing now. Pranayama, at the end of this session, we are doing Pranayama. Pratyahara. Dhyana, Dharana, Samadhi. We have to inculcate all limbs of yoga in our day-to-day -day life. purification should be done at psychological level, physical level, and then spiritual level also. Yoga is not mere an exercise. There should be connection. Day by day, we should be efficient in your work and then humble in your attitude.
Now let's start with asana practice. Asanas or postures. Asana Siddhi is very important. You have to learn the technique of each asana and then breathing along with the practices. When to inhale, when to exhale, everything is important. Asana stimulates your body. You have to maintain and then relax. If you follow the breathing properly day by day, you will be accustomed to the breathing. Unknowingly, you will be well versed to practice breathing with the postures. Today, first let's practice Bharat Vajasana. Both legs towards your right. One foot should come on the other. Then turn towards your left. Raise your back. Both hands should be straight. Elbows should touch the middle back. Do not do like this. Should be turning your body. Concentrate on your twisting. Bharadvajasana. Try to maintain the posture. Look back. The maintaining is very important. It only takes the your consciousness to the higher level. One more subtle point is your breathing should be normal. Stay there. Should be done with awareness. You can close your eyes, sitting posture, if it is not a balancing one. Both hands should be straight, back straight. Now to feel mild twist in your waist region, Bharatvajasana, basic twisting posture. All twisting postures are very good for the people who are having diabetes. In the final posture, you have to let loose your body. Do not hold your body tightly. If you loosen your body, then only you can do normal breathing. Feel the changes in your body. Stay there. Both shoulders should come in one line. Bharatvajasana. No slowly release. Release your leg. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel the practice. Now let's do other side, both legs towards your left, then turn right, look back, both knees should be resting on the floor, turn your right elbow, You can just see me from the sides. Both hands should be straight. Look back. You can close your eyes if you want. Breathing should be normal. Let loose your body. Feel the mind twist in your waist region. Do not strain your neck. The neck should be easy. Final posture, let loose your body, turn more. Turn your right elbow, support your middle back. Bharadvajasana. Try to remember the names of the practices. Sit 
the maintaining the posture is very important. Then only you will get the benefit of the practice. Feel the changes in your body. It activates the pancreas. Makes your internal organs, lower abdominal organs very healthy. Improves the blood circulation. Slowly release. Release your legs one by one. Relax again. See, we have done one twisting posture. Now let's practice one forward bending. That is Malasana. For that, join your legs. Sit like this first. Then come up. Don't raise your heels. Try to catch your Ankles, bent, garland posture, or malasana. So once again, you can just see foot should be like this. Do not raise your heels. Clasp your hands back. Separate your knees. Bend. Your surrounding of hands resemble the garland, so it is called the garland posture or malasana. So slowly come up. The forward bending postures. Blood rushes to your head. So people who are having high BP or heart problem should not maintain for the longer time. So twisting postures you can maintain for longer time, but in forward bending, you should be careful. If you feel giddy, you can just come back, release the posture. A few postures are self complementary, like we did Bharadvajasana, the right side, then left side. Now we have done Malasana, that is a forward bending. It has to be complemented with the back bending posture. That we will do in standing posture. Next, let's practice Akarna Dhanurasana. For that, catch your big toe. Exhale. Inhale. It resembles the bow and arrow. So it is called Akarna Dhanurasana. Until you are here, release, right side. Release, left side. Release. These all are little bit advanced postures. Wherever you are, you see if you can that's here itself, it is okay, no problem. You just try to maintain. You can reach the final posture, it is well and good. Release. Other side. Release. Relax again. This practice gives a cardiovascular effect. You can feel that it raises the heartbeat. Little bit advanced one. You can do the variation here. 
change your hands now opposite toe to the opposite ear really here it gives a twisting effect which your posture you can maintain for a longer time you do that you can maintain if you can maintain you try to maintain for longer time others you can just try them and then release them no hard and fast rules once you are well versed with the posture you can practice that then you can maintain for longer time your body should allow for that practice makes perfect should not panic if you can't reach the final posture technique is very important how to do it and then breathing is also very important now let's practice one balancing that is vata yanasana for that one leg ardha padmasana then just stand on your knee come up to so just one leg other leg raise your hand straighten your back Vasudha ji, can you please show it one more time how to go that position? Yeah. Okay. I'll just tell. Thank you. Sorry. See, one leg should be Ardha Padmasana. Just like this. First, Ardha Padmasana. See, it should not come up. Your heel should be at the root of your thigh. Knee should come down. Hold the other leg. Sit like this first. Then. Take one knee down, stand up. See, one knee should be down. Other foot, one knee, one foot should be like this. Then do it like this. So very good balancing posture. Strengthen the legs. Improve the posture. Slowly relax. Hope you can get it. Relax. Relax. See now, other leg. The one leg should be Ardha Padmasana. The knee should come down. Should not come up like this. Then it will be difficult for you to do. So wherever you are, you can just attempt to the posture. if this is the step one then fold the other leg this step two then support put your knee up come up now then vata yanasana very good balancing posture Raise your hand up. Slowly release your hands. So you can see me. So your leg should be front, and the knee should be back. So now again, while releasing, put both hands by the side of your knee. Release your knee first. Release the other leg. Release the leg, which we have done. Ardha Padmasana. Release. Relax. Hope you got it. It puts the pressure on your ankles. Just move them. Vata Yanasana. If you want, I can do once again. See one leg, 
Ardha Padmasana. Then fold the other leg. Sit like this. Then put both hands. Come up. One knee, one foot. Then clasp your hands. Straighten your body. Release. First, you have to release the knee. See, the going to the posture is important as well as releasing the posture is also very important. You should not get catches. You know, see, other leg. Then fold the other leg. Come up. Straighten your body. Change your hand. One foot, one knee. Now release. One by one. Release your leg. Okay, got it. Thank you, Rasmaji. Okay. Thank you for asking the questions. I feel good if you ask questions. Relax. So now come to standing posture. Separate your legs. Relax for a while. This is standing relaxing practice. This Shithila Tadasana. Today, let's practice Trikonasana or triangular posture. For that, you have to separate your legs. Foot should be parallel. Stretch your hands, shoulder level. Turn your right foot out. Do not turn your waist. Left hand on your waist. Foot should be parallel. Then, do not bend knees. Your both legs should be straight. Now stretch your hand as much as possible. Just keep on stretching laterally. Do not bend forward or backward. If you can't stretch further, just to take that hand on your shin bone, toss your chest, raise your hand up, adjust your foot, go down. Look up the ceiling, look at your Left palm. Should be lateral bending. Should get the pressure in your right inner thigh. Just bend, bend, bend. If you can't reach the floor, it's okay. But do not bend forward. Stay there. In a stretch. Toss your chest. If you are tired of looking up, you can look front. Stay there. If you can, try to maintain the posture. Both hands should be in one line. Now slowly come up with the stretch. Do not disturb your legs. Now. Turn your palm, foot, slowly release. Just bring back your legs a little bit. Relax. Trikonasana or triangular posture looks very simple, but it is very effective. It strengthens your legs. And then you can feel the twisting effect in your waist also. Now let's do it, other side. Stretch your hands, turn your left foot out, right foot in, right hand on your waist, not front, it should be back. Just adjust your foot, just extend your hand towards your 
left, stitch. If you can't stitch further, take it down, cross your chest, raise your hand up, look at your right palm, go down. Do not bend at your knee. Both legs should be straight. Do not bend forward. Look up. Try to maintain the posture. Slide your left hand down. You can look front also if you can't look up for longer time. Very good for the people who are having breathing problem also. Expands your ribcage. Now slowly come up with a stretch. Turn your foot, bring your hand down. Just to bring back your leg, foot. Relax. We have done triangular posture or three corners. Next, let's practice. Natarajasana for that. See, this is the back bending. I told you will do one back bending in standing. This is back bending and balancing. Lift your leg up. Don't bend forward. Lift up. Slowly release. Relax. Let's do it other side. Stretch up. Lift your thigh up. Natarajasana. Slowly release. Relax. Now it is time to relax your knees. Very gently. You should not be harsh on your body. You feel very beautiful stretch in your limbs, which makes your muscles strong and lean, healthy muscles, healthy bones. You know, just listen to your body, then body will listen to you. Relax your waist. Whenever you feel exerted, you can relax your limbs. Now, let's practice Surya Namaskara or Sun Salutation. For that, let's start the practice with the prayer. Join your palm. The forearm should be parallel to the floor, thumb should be touching the sternum. Hiranmayina patrena satyasya pihitam mukham tatvam pushan apavrunu satya dharmaya drishtayi Om Ram Mitraya Namaha. Urkhasana. Uttanasana. Toes and fingers in one line. Ekapada Prasaranasana. Right leg back. Look front. Depress your back. Dvipada Prasaranasana or Dandasana. Your weight should be balanced on your palms. 
state in your elbows. Shishankasana, very relaxing posture. Elbows down, forehead down, buttocks down. Come up, put your toes. Ashtanga Namaskarasana. Slide your body up. Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Knees up. Then, Adho Mukhashvanasana. Stamp your heels. Again, lighten your feet. Put your knees down. Shashankasana. Then, Ashwasanchalanasana. Toes and fingers in one line. Next one is Pada Hastasana. Then bend back. Namaskar Mudra. Om Rim Ravai Namaha. Ekam. Dve. Three knee, right leg back. Just to concentrate in between your eyebrows, Adna Chakra. Chatwari, head to heel one line. Pancha. Shutter. Sapta. Ashta. Nama. Dasha. The shin bone should be vertical to the floor. Ekadasha. Dvadasha. Now let's follow the breathing. Om Rum Surya Yenama. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Complete the breathing. Try to maintain the posture with normal breathing. Inhale, knees down. Exhale. Shushankasana. Inhale, come up. Put your toes. Exhale. Ashtanga Namaskarasana. Inhale. Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Lift your knees up. Arch your back, straighten your elbows. Exit. Adho Mukhashvanasana. Inhale, knees down. Exit. Shashankasana. Inhale. Shwasanchalanasana. Horse ready to run. Exit. Father Hastasana. Inhale. 
ऋतुचक्रासना एक से नमस्कार आसना ओम रैम बानवीन ऊर्ध्वासन उत्तान आसना शुड बी कंट्रोल मूवमेंट एक पाद प्रसरण आसना राइट लेग पैक द्विपाद प्रसरण आसना शशांक आसना अष्टांग नमस्कार आसन ऊर्ध्व मुख श्वान आसन अधो मुख श्वान आसन शशांक आसन Shiva Santana Nasana, with one stretch, you have to bring your right leg front. Pada Hasta Asana, back to Namaskara Mudra. Om Ram Khagaya Namaha. The perfect each posture. Ekam. Dve. Trini. Tatvari. पंच षट सप्त अष्ट नव दश एकादश द्वादश ओम रहा पूष्णे नम इन्हें कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन नेवल रीजन मणिपुर चक्र इन्हें शशांक इनहेल कमा एक से अष्टांग नमस्कार आसना इनहेल ऊर्ध्व मुख श्वान आसना एक से अधो मुख श्वान आसना इंडू दी वेरिएशन Inhale, knee down. Exhale, shushankasana. 
नमस्कार मित्र अनदर सिक्स राउंड अदर साइड ओम राम हिरण्य गर्भा चत्वारी पंच षट सप्त अष्ट नव दश एकादश द्वादश ओम मरीच नम ऊर्धासन उत्तानासन एक पाद प्रसरणासन राइट लेग बैक द्विपाद प्रसरणासन शशाकासन अष्टांग नमस्कार आसन ऊर्धमुख श्वान आसन अधोमुख श्वान आसन शशाकासन अश्व संचलनासन पाद हस्तासन नमस्कार मित्र ओम इनहेल एक्सी इनहेल एक्सी इनहेल निस्टॉन एक्सी शशांक का सुना इनहेल कमा एक्सेल साष्टांग नमस्कार रचना इनहेल ऊर्ध्व मुख श्वान आसना एक्सेल अधो मुख श्वान आसना इनहेल निस्टॉन एक्सेल शशांक आसना अश्व संचलनासन एक्सेल पाद हस्तासन इनहेल एक्सेल नमस्कार मित्र ओम रैम सवित्रे नम ऊर्धवासन ओम 
ஏகபாத பிரசரணாசன ஸ்ரீபாத பிரசரணாசன சுஷாங்காசன சஷ்டாங்க நமஸ்காரசன ஊர்வமுகஸ்வானாசன அதோமுகஸ்வானாசன சுஷாங்காசன சஞ்சலனாசன பாதஹஸ்தாசன நமஸ்கார முத்ரா ஓம் ரோம் அர்காய நம Eight. Then 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 Well drowned ஓம் ராஸ்கராய நம பிரீதி பிரீதா பிரீதி பிரீதா Breathe in, knees down, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Here ends the 12 rounds of Surya Namaskara. Now, let's practice. Last one with Bija Mantra. Just repeat after me. Om Shri Savitra Surya Narayana Namaha Om Ram Mitra Namaha Om Rheem Ravaye Namaha Om Rheem சூரிய நம ஓம் ரைம் 
ஆகாயனமு ஓம் ராக பூஷ்ணே நம ஓம் ராம் ஹிரண்யகர்பாய நம ஓம் ரீம் மரிதையே நம ஓம் ஹோம் ஆதித்யாய நம ஓம் ஹைம் சவித்ரே நம ஓம் ரௌம் அர்காய நம ஓம் ரா பாஸ்கராய நம தேர்ட்டீன் ரவுண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சூரிய நமஸ்கார விச் இஸ் அ ஃபுல் பிளஜ்ட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஆன் என்டயர் பாடி you can feel the changes in your body while relaxing you can just directly relax in makarasana from relaxing posture let's do it lie down on your abdomen separate your legs heels facing each other chin on the cross the point of your four arms see makarasana is a very good relaxing posture it's very good to bring bp level down also people who are having hypertension or heart problem can practice this push us more and more oxygen in your body let's relax until our breathing comes to normal let's practice one more variation of bhujangasana today join your legs stretch your hands forward chin on the floor both palms by the side of the lower rib draw elbows near your body in him stretch the upper part of the body it looks like a serpent bhujangasana look up open your shoulders exhale down gently bring your body down and draw elbows near your body and so again inhale lift up straighten your elbows look up push your waist down exhale and bring it down do not drop your body should be controlled movement draw elbows near your body once again inhale lift up push your waist down preferably your foot should be together your back is exerted you can separate your legs now let's practice tiriya bhujangasana turn towards your right look at your heels turn back exhale gently come down last time in he lift up straight on your elbows turn towards your left look at your heels turn back exit come down 
slowly relax back in makarasana we have practiced bhujangasana and twisted bhujangasana or tiryak bhujangasana separate your legs to relax now let's do do the complementary posture that is shalabhasana or locust posture make fist of your palms put it below your thigh lift up inhaling single leg shalabhasana locust posture this is salamba shalabhasana stay there try to maintain the posture It's a very powerful posture It's very good to strengthen your back. You can feel the compression. See now, let loose your body. Stay there. Slowly release your legs, one by one. Relax. Let's do with the other leg. Inhale, lift up. Support. Salamba, Shalabhasana, supported locust posture. Very gently. Bring your legs down one by one. Relax back in Makarasana. We have done Bhujangasana and then Shalabhasana, complementary posture. Now, as usual, let's practice plank. Join your legs. Clasp your fingers. Lift your body up parallelly to the floor. So maintain this posture for a few seconds, at least for twenty counts. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn side plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No normal plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly bring your body down. Turn your back. On your back. In supine posture. Separate your legs. Relax. Feel the changes in your body. Your body needs relaxation. Before that, let's do one or two supine postures. First, bring your breathing to the normal. You can feel the cardiovascular effect of plank. Makes your heart healthy. Induces. 
very powerful blood circulation throughout your body strengthens your muscles strengthens your bones connects your breath the benefits of yoga it's very difficult to explain you have to experience that today let's practice ardha namasana breathing for that come to sthiti join your legs stretch your hands up along the floor now inhale come up and catch your toes exhale down inhale lift up exhale down once again inhale lift up stay there feel the stretch in your hands toes pointing towards you slowly exhaling go back inhale come up exhale go back ardha namasana breathing practice last time inhale come up maintain for a while with normal breathing it's very good for your hands both upper and lower abdomen and then for your hamstring and calf muscles exhale go back do not drop your body last time inhale come up exhale go back bring your hands down relax for a while the speed of doing practices should be moderate you have to feel the practice you have to feel the breathing feel the stretches stimulation relaxation now let's practice side crunches 19 stop the practice in between two practices you need to relax so that your whole body will get benefited now let's do relaxation first let's relax the lumbar region for that fold both knees stretch your hands shoulder level both knees towards your right look left do not lift your upper arm now 
Inhale, knees up. Exit, knees towards your left. Look right. Folded leg, lumbar stretch. Inhale, knees up. Exit, knees towards your right. Look left. There should not be any force. It is a relaxing practice. Relaxing your lower back is very important. Inhale, knees up. Exit, knees towards your left. Look right. Inhale, knees up. Exit. Last time, inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees towards your left. Look right. Slowly come up. Now you can just cross breath. Like so, hold it like this. Sukta Baddha Konasana. Relax. Now very gently lift up. You can even go beyond. Slowly release. Join your foot, separate your knees, relax. Move your leg, right and left, very gently. So now finally, stretch your legs forward, relaxing, Shavasana. Let loose your whole body. Observe each and every part of your body. Your whole body should be on the same surface. Preferably. See, once the relaxing practice, like folded leg lumbar stretch, start, your body will get into the relaxing mode. Now almost your breathing is normal. Adjust your body. There should not be any pain or stiffness in your whole body. Now your breathing is normal. Let's practice yogic breathing in supine posture, that is deep inhalation and slow exhalation, preferably. Exhalation should be double the time of the inhalation. Let's do it. Each exhalation, sink into the floor. Now to get the feeling of sinking into the floor. Maximum part of your back should be touching the floor. Let your fingers be curved. You know, take a deep breath in, chant one akara. 
Dan Tuan Ukara. Finally, Dan Tuan Makara. Gently move your toes, fingers and leg. Bring your legs together, hands near the body. Fold your left leg, slide your right hand above. Turn towards your right. Put one leg on the other. Feel the linear awareness. No, slowly come out of the Shavasana. Sit in any comfortable posture. Let's practice. Do pranayama. You know, your whole body is relaxed completely. Mind is coming down. This is the time to do few pranayamas. Sit in any comfortable posture of your, your choice. First, let's start Pranayama Sloka. Back erect, neck relaxed. Facial muscles should also be relaxed. Adopt Chin Mudra. Pranasedam Vashit Sarvam Tridiveyat Pratishtitam Mateva Putran Rakshasva Shrishcha Pratnyaushcha Videhinaiti First, let's practice few Kapalapati Kriya, that is preparatory practice for Pranayama. Then let's practice Nadanu Sandana today, that is chanting of Akara, Ukara, and Makara in a rhythmic manner. This Kapalapati, forceful exhalation from both the nostrils. Moderate speed, one stroke per second. Stop the practice. So now we can automatically experience, experience the Kevala Kumbhaka or Sahaja Kumbhaka. Temporary holding or cessation of breath. You do not feel like inhaling or exhaling. Just enjoy that state of mind, body and breath. Once you come out of that state, let's practice yogic breathing. That is in Brahma Mutra. Mm -hmm. 
deep inhalation, slow exhalation. Exhalation should be double the time of the inhalation. This practice supplies you with more and more oxygen. Last time. Stop the practice. Now let's practice Nadanusantana, that is chanting of Akara, mak, Ukara, Makara, three, three times, and then a Uma in a single breath for three times. For that, to chant Akara. Adopt Chin Mudra. Let's chant three Akaras. Take a deep breath in. Uh... You have to vibrate the syllable once again. Akara. Take a deep breath in. Uh... Last time. Uh... Now let's chant Ukara in Chinmaya Mudra with these two fingers. Hold these three fingers also. Palm should be open to the ceiling. Ukara, take a deep breath in. See, this is called Chinmaya Mudra. Again. Last time, Ukara. Now, let's chant Makara. For that, add up Adi Mudra. Like this, like this. Put it on your thighs. Makara. Inhale. Once again. Last thing. Now, say mudra, keep it below your navel. Brahmasthana, it will be Brahma mudra. Let's chant a uma in a single breath for three rounds. The proportion of chanting is one is two, one is two, two. That is makara, you can chant for a longer time. 
Now let's start. Take a deep breath in. Uh, Again. Uh, last time. Uh, Spread your fingers, sit in meditative posture, Dhyana Mudra. Let's sit in silence for a minute. Now, let's turn to an Omkara and end this session. Oh. Join your palms. Asatoma Satkamaya Tamasoma Jyotilgamaya Mrityorma Amrutangamaya Om Shanti 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 Take back your hands in heat. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, slowly come up. Rub your palms. Keep your 